Post-Economics, Why the Era of the Consumer is Over. Businesses today view individuals as consumers, structuring their activities around that definition. Yet, it's a definition that is now becoming obsolete. Why? The primary reason is that consumer is a pre-web definition of individual, which has no relevance to the digital age, where everything is about data. To make sense of this, let's assess what a consumer is. In the 20th century, advances in technology enabled businesses to mass-produce large volumes of products quickly and efficiently whilst distributing them globally. The individual in this complex supply chain is defined as a consumer, as they are always positioned at the end of business sequences, where they consume the products and services the businesses have created. They are not recognized as individuals and have no involvement at any other stage of business processes, such as planning, design, or supply. Businesses today typically target consumers in segments, in other words, groups of individuals, sometimes very large, who share certain characteristics such as age, gender, religion, or marital status. They represent a form of targeting that is useful when businesses know very little about the individuals that they interact with. Products and services are designed and marketed at a generic rather than individual level. The consumer, a type of individual defined by choice, then decides which products and services are best for them at the end of the business sequence. In the digital age, our world is defined by data. Web technology works by tracking data so it can remember things that happened previously and provide experiences that are relevant, accurate, and convenient. This goes far beyond demographic information on individuals, covering behavioral information too, likes, dislikes, preferences, browsing history, even where we've been and what we did there. And web technology is everywhere, not just behind a browser. The number of connected devices, networks, and platforms that track data is already vast and growing, to the point where, in the near future, almost any activity we undertake can be tracked and understood, not at the segment level, but at the individual level. When an individual can be understood comprehensively, they cease to be the end consumer. They can become, by virtue of their connectedness to everything, involved in the planning, design, and supply of products and services. By having access to a huge range of disparate data sets that can be cross-referenced in real time, machine learning algorithms, which feed AI systems, can understand what individuals would benefit from in any context, creating massive improvements in efficiency that benefit both businesses and individuals. Consumers are defined by choice and control the decision-making process. AI is about taking control of that process, basing decisions on huge amounts of information far quicker and way more accurately than we are able to do ourselves. The individual in this relationship is no longer defined by choice, but by their participation and involvement in all business processes. They are no longer only positioned at the end, but throughout and continuously.